It started with some of the latest headlines in the COVID-19 outbreak. President Donald Trump is giving some states the go-ahead to start opening back up today. If they want to, the president unveiled a three-phased approach to reopening the country, but he is letting each state decide what to do. The president said some states already meet the requirements to start phase one, which opens restaurants, gyms, and places of worship. Governor Tony Evers extended Wisconsin's safer at home order until May 26th. It's originally scheduled to end next Friday. They also shut down Wisconsin schools through the rest of the school year. Wisconsin has a more severe case of COVID-19. 3,800 confirmed positive cases there. Nearly 200 people have died. In Minnesota, 94 have died. There are more than 1,900 known cases. More than 1,000 of those 1,900 people have fully recovered. The governors of seven states, including Minnesota and Wisconsin, are going to start working together on plans to kickstart the economy in the Midwest. Minnesota and Wisconsin are going to work with Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. They will consult experts in healthcare, business, labor, education. The decision they say you can go back to work will rely on a couple of factors here. Number one, making sure you control the rate of new infections and hospitalizations. Number two, how well the states can test and trace. Number three, the health care capacity. Do they have enough ICU beds? Do they have enough ventilators there? And number four, you're still going to have to maintain some sort of social distancing in the workplace. Really adhering to those, uh, those, those guidelines around ill workers going home, isolating, um, all of the things that we need to do to make sure that we're not seeing rapid spread in a workplace. That is, that is something we, we work hard to avoid. As our officials have told us over and over, it's going to take a while to feel totally back to normal. This decision to reopen is just the first of many steps. Now, right now, the stay-at-home order for Minnesota does extend through May 4th, and Wisconsin has extended its stay-at-home order until May 26th. Governor Tim Walz's stay-at-home order continues through May 4th, but some are not happy about it and made their voices heard in St. Paul. Dozens expressing their support for getting back to work at the governor's residence yesterday. They are saying the severe financial and mental health burdens are getting to be too much to bear. For some, the desire to reopen the state is stronger than any concerns about health risks. No, I'm not working. And I do believe that if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. We're adults. We can decide what risks we're willing to take with ourselves. And that has been stripped away from us. Governor's office released a statement saying we can't lose our democracy during the pandemic, including people exercising their right to protest. They asked demonstrators to make sure they used good social distancing. Minnesota bar and restaurant customers might be able to buy an alcoholic drink with their takeout orders as soon as this weekend. The Minnesota Senate yesterday voted to approve selling takeout wine and beer at restaurants. Struggling restaurants have been asking for this. They say that it would help them generate revenue from their existing inventory. This bill today is really a jobs bill. It's a bill that will protect uh, the remaining jobs that we have in the restaurant and in industry but also hopefully provide a, an avenue to hire back some of the lost jobs. The measure is expected to pass the Minnesota House today. The governor has said that he will sign it immediately. That means that people could buy bottled beer and wine, but not cocktails. It could happen as soon as this weekend, and this is for takeout only, not for delivery.